Saint John Twenty Third. Pope John Twenty Third is one of the most popular popes of all time. He initiated a new era in the history of the Roman Catholic Church by his openness to change. The original name of Pope John XXIII was Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli. He was born on November 25, 1881 in Sotto il Monte, Bergamo, Italy, as a family of sharecroppers. He was third of the 13 children. He attended elementary school in the town, was tutored by a priest of Carvico, and at the age of 12 entered the seminary at Bergamo. He got a scholarship from the Serasoli Foundation in 1901, which enabled him to go on to the Apollinaris in Rome, where he studied, among others, Umberto Benigni, the church historian. His studies were interrupted when he was drafted into military service in the Italian army. After serving the military, He returned to the seminary and completed his work for a doctorate in theology, and was ordained in 1904. He continued his studies in canon law while serving as secretary to the new bishop of Bergamo, Giacomo Radini Tedeschi, a social-minded prelate for nine years. This work gave him a first-hand experience and a broad understanding of the problems of the working class. He also taught apologetics, church history, and patrology. During World War I in 1915, he was recalled to military service as a chaplain. His service as a stretcher bearer for the Italian army during World War I gave him a first-hand knowledge of war. On leaving the service in 1918, he was appointed spiritual director of the seminary, but found time to open a hostel for students in Bergamo. In 1921, he was called to Rome to reorganize the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. In 1925, he became a papal diplomat, serving first in Bulgaria. He immediately concerned himself with the problems of the Eastern churches. In 1934, he became the apostolic delegate to Turkey and Greece, and set up an office in Istanbul for locating prisoners of war. During World War II, he became well acquainted with Orthodox Church leaders. With the help of Germany's ambassador to Turkey, he helped save an estimated 24,000 Jewish people. In 1944, he was appointed nuncio to Paris to assist in the Church post-war efforts in France, and became the first permanent observer of the Holy See at UNESCO. In 1953, he became Cardinal Patriarch of Venice, and expected to spend his last years there in pastoral work. He was correcting proofs of the synodal acts of his first diocesan synod in 1958, when he was called to Rome to participate in the conclave that elected him pope. He took the name John in honor of the precursor and the beloved disciple. In his first public address, Pope John expressed his concern for reunion with separated Christians and for world peace. In his coronation address, he asserted vigorously and sincerely that it was his intention to be a pastoral pope. 
He made a great impact in the history of the church. One of his first acts was to enlarge the membership in the College of Cardinals and made it more international. Less than three months after his election, he announced that he would hold a diocesan synod for Rome, convoked an ecumenical council for the universal church, and revised the code of canon law. The synod, the first in the history of Rome, was held in 1960. Vatican Council II was convoked in 1962, and the Pontifical Commission for the Revision of the Code was appointed in 1963. His most famous encyclicals were Mother and Teacher, Mater et Magistra, and Peace on Earth, Passim in Terre. He elevated the Pontifical Commission for Cinema, Radio, and Television to curial status, approved a new code of rubrics for the breviary and missal. He made notable advances in ecumenical relations by creating a new secretariat for promoting Christian unity and by appointing the first representative to the assembly of the World Council of Churches held in New Delhi, 1961. In 1960, he consecrated 14 bishops for Asia, Africa, and Oceania. The International Balzan Foundation awarded him its Peace Prize in 1962. Pope John XXIII was regarded as the good Pope. He avoided the limelight as much as possible. One writer noted that his ordinariness seems one of his most remarkable qualities. Pope John XXIII died on June 3, 1963. St. John Paul II beatified him in 2000 and Pope Francis canonized him in 2014. His memorial is celebrated on October 11.